Hi guys, this is your Psychic LG reporting for the United Kingdom. Well, today I want to talk about a situation, a situation which is revving up around the world. And it's about us using our discernment, keeping strong, keeping my feet on the ground. I've noticed that there is a negative energy, which I feel is running rampant at the moment. And I do talk to a lot more psychics around the world and um, awakened people, healers, people like that. There is a very strong takeover on this planet. And there is a great divide between good and evil. You don't have to be psychic to say that. This energy, I feel, is very demonic. And for the people who have had the veil lifted off and they have come out of this matrix, they're seeing it for what it really is. This negative energy, reptilian energy, is running havoc across this world. And it has been this energy that has been controlling us for centuries. And now... Because we have had the veil lifted, we are starting to see this in our communities and across social media. Remember, we are physical beings. We are spiritual beings in a meat suit. And this is school. So nobody is immune to this. Nobody. It's about we're all here on a test. This is school. And it comes down to the, the light force and the dark force. OK, it's a free will world. But what I've noticed what's happening is definitely within the, the truth community is this negative energy that has been controlling us for centuries has infiltrated within a, a situation where people are guiding people. And I've kept my mouth shut for a long, long time about this. Now, I'm not on here to call anybody because that's not me. I'm a healer. I'm a light worker. This is for you to make your own mind up. OK, and like I've always said, this goes beyond politics. It goes beyond politics. It is it's a, a biblical times that we're living in. Right. And it doesn't mean that you have to be Christian either. It's about energies. Remember, God lies within. I've noticed that this energy that has been controlling all of us and now we are the ones who have popped out, that the ones who have popped out have noticed in it that it's this energy is infiltrating now people close to us. And I call it like the invasion of the body snatchers. Remember, we are spiritual beings in a meat suit. So these beings, if they can't get to us, they get to us through either friendships, loved ones, etc., etc., now, my concern is, and I, I spoke about this <clears throat> when I did the video on the light, which you can check out in my description um, in the videos, um, that the younger generation who are very highly advanced and who are great astral travellers are being very heavily influenced because with the Violet Indigo children, they want it all straight away. Don't forget their soul comes from Archangel Michael. So they are the, the truth seekers, the warriors. And they're not really programmed to be on earth so when they get something which is off world they want to know it straight away so they're being very um influenced because of what's out there to do with um drugs and alcohol okay which possibly in well drugs has always been about and alcohol but not to the extent that it is now when i was young lass it wasn't like that it wasn't so bad so I feel it's as if that it's about us guiding the younger generation and showing them that God lies within. It's very, very important. And power lies within. And it's not about handing the power over. Now, there is a certain story what's going on out there on social media about somebody who's supposed to be in the truth community. And I basically feel very, very strong that they're not from the light. I'm not going to say names or anything like that. It's for you to work it all out. But um, you can find this out by researching. And um, 
this person has been exposed with emails. That's all I'm going to say. And this poor woman who had reached out because our daughter was dying. Well, our daughter was unwell with mental health. Okay, which is on a rise. I'm going to say mental health is on the rise because the younger generation are a lot more highly advanced had turned to this person and this person was supposedly helping her but this person my understanding is had the same energy of what this dark energy which was attacking a daughter okay and and said that the only way that a daughter could get better was basically by um allowing him him to be the handler now this is also out if you do your research that this person is a reptilian so what i'm saying to you is that we are spirit beings in a meat suit and you have to be really careful of what the when people are helping you or what the message they are giving you now i've been there i've been there with my younger son and I've helped many, many people. So where this dark energy is controlling us, if it can't get to us, it gets to us through our kids, our bloody blah, blah, blah. So then you go and reach out if you're desperate, like this woman was desperate, and then you're tricked on the same energy with a different mask, a different face. This is huge, guys. This is huge. So what I'm saying to you is you are protected. You are protected, and it all comes down to faith. But the message today is it's about not handing your power over. And it's about for our younger generation, for our children and our loved ones, it's about showing them that the power lies within them. It lies within them and never, never to give that power away. So when you're seeking out help, you seek it out with discernment and don't ever feel that the warning sign is when somebody says well you know i'll be in power i'll be in power and then starts frightening you so that day in power is the victim this is what's actually going on at the moment so i've come up against a lot of reptilians okay people who have transfigurated in front of us some of them have been bad some of them haven't been bad I've been in some bizarre situations. I could write a book about it, okay? Over the years where I've been chased by this dark energy because they've wanted my energy. They've wanted me to be on that dark side. And then because they couldn't get me, okay, they tried it through my younger son. Through bizarre situations from bogus police, yeah, this is how clever this is. This is all a movie. And I'm saying this now. We are sharing this planet with a reptilian civilization. And I know this is old hat, what I'm probably putting out. But I'm telling you, okay, I've seen these. I've witnessed these beings. People who have pretended to be police and then they've transfigurated and they've changed bizarre bizarre situations but now i've had the veils lifted off and i'm in a different position okay because in my situation working in the uk i don't have strangers coming to my house anymore so what what's happened over the last two years i went online luckily for me with working through youtube and twitch and um, global, you know, sort of social media, it took us off to work online. So I've survived this, you know, what they were trying to do with the crash and everything. So what I'm saying to you is I don't have strangers coming to the house. So now the UK is open, I just have regulars coming to the house. So I can't have any bizarre situations coming into my household now. It's all online. But what I've noticed is, because the veil's been lifted, is they're bad actors. And they'll go to any extreme. Any extreme. And they are situated in our system. I'm seriously telling you this. 
I've kept my mouth shut for too, too long. Okay. So I'm not saying this to make anybody paranoid or anything like that and that they're going to come chasing you. You're only a threat when you know the system and when you are putting this out. You're only a threat. They know what I know. They know what I know. But they're bad actors. So we're up against really bad actors and body snatchers. Bad actors and body snatchers. So they've been controlling this planet for a long, long time, but they're losing. You need to know that they're losing. You can't eradicate all the evil off the planet. You can't. It's impossible. So to have the light, you've got to have the dark. But you have to know this, that you're in control of this. And this situation is going to get very, very heavy this year. There's events coming in. There's events coming in to distract with. And I'm not saying that they're not going to be happening because they will be happening. But it's all a distraction for we're not to look what's actually unfolding behind the scenes. It's a movie, guys. It's a... It's a big, bloody movie. And what you need to know is that we have been the avatars in this movie. But when you go over that line and you realise what's going on, you're in power. Don't walk in fear. The tips that I need to give you is to recognise these people is when they try to control you. They try to de-empower you. They will look human. They try to um, get you into nasty situations um, by through law, okay, by taking away your rights. Um, they are infiltrated massively within the system. And this is down to um, police, children's services, everything basically everything but also you need to know is that there's angels angels are walking this planet as well and what i've been given very strong from my guides is that there is an essence remember yes soul is huge so the angels are huge there'll be people walking around on this planet who will have michael's energy gabriel's energy jesus is christ energy we are writing the new bible we are right in the new Bible. This information, what I was saying earlier on about a certain person who was in the truth community, I've known this for a very, very long time. I knew this person was about long before it all came out onto YouTube, social media. And there's other certain people within that community. But what I'm saying to you is that it was a blessing for me. It was an utter blessing for me to be removed off YouTube for that short time. Because it let me look within and see what was actually going on. Now, that does not mean that everybody in the truth community is dark, because they're not. There's some very good warriors out there. There is. People who've held the line. But once people start... <sighs> filling people's head full of bullshit basically you know um that's when um in twisting things because then it gets into politics and um the dark energy which is in all the system and in all the social medias as well because they don't want the truth out they will allow the lies to go out they will allow the lies to go out it's very, very important that you know that. I got majorly attacked um, for calling out the certain letter of the alphabet, which I said was a psyop. And it was meant to divide America. This is very, very clever. Remember, there's three heads to this beast. Three heads. And... Um, three sections to this evil and they're all fighting against each other 
need to know that. But they're losing. They are damn well losing. And we are going to rise. Use your discernment. Okay? So you're going to start to see people in a different light. You're going to start when you realise that you're not just talking to Mr. Brown down the street or Joe Bloggs. Read the spirits. And it doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter what they look like. It's what's coming out of the mouth and how they make you feel. That's what it's all about. That's the way I was taught how to do readings. You read with your heart, not with your mind. This has been one big mind sigh up and it's about to get very, very crazy. But what I do know is that there's good beings working behind the scenes and they're not gods. They're not gods. And they are going to, they've, they keep telling us that it's down to us to sort this mess out. It's not easy being a light worker. It's not. I've been prepped for this job like many light workers. We're all being tested. Each and every one of us are being tested. So when you're looking for the truth, just be careful. Just be careful. If it feels right, it's right. But remember, when it comes to politics, it is all being put out there to divide. It's all being put out there to divide. I just feel that we're going through a massive cleanup across the planet. We really, really are. And we are going to win this. We really, really are. And when you realise that you're connected with Source, you will walk through the valley of darkness and fear no evil. This is huge. My understanding is that we've been on their planet and we've not realised this. Like I've always said, Earth is Mars, Mars is Earth. We have been on their planet and not realised this. And now we've become so psychically evolved, spiritually evolved, we just have to realise how to deter it. We just have to realise that they have no power over us. We have as much right as they do. Remember that. And then they'll leave you alone. Because they are going to leave. A lot of them are going to leave. You need to know that. This world is going to change so much, guys. And there's great technology, what the good guys, the Alliance, working within the federations, they are go working with humanity, secret military, are going to, we're going to have a mass influx of great technology to come onto this planet. We're going to go AI. We really, really are. And I've always said, it's not the technology, it's who's been behind it. But there's a mess to clear up, a massive mess. And don't think for one moment that everybody working behind the scenes in social media is all bad either. Because imagine somebody working behind the scenes, they could be sitting next to somebody and not even realising what that person is. And sometimes, nine times out of ten, that person might not even realise who they are because they've been born into it. That's how deep this is. It goes back generations. We are living on a planet which is mixed from angels to fairies. But there's demons here. And there's also star races here. And it's power to the people, guys. It really, really is. It's power to the people. And learning how to walk through this crazy journey is by being grateful, sending love, being aware, being aware. And if you need help, go for help. But the warning is today, if somebody tries to take your power away when you are reaching out like a child to Jesus for help, remember Satan 
He has many different faces. There's false prophets out there, guys. Be careful. Be very, very careful. If somebody turns on you when you're reaching out for help, don't feel afraid to walk away. Because angels are walking this planet. I'll be back in a bit. May the force all be with you. We're going to do this, guys. We really, really are. And to everybody out there on social media who feels the same way as I do, and some possibly have been attacked by them, good on you. May the force all be with you. Because I think we've got a busy year ahead of us. We really, really have. But the light surrounds you all. Take care. I'll be back in a bit. Be good, as ET says. Be good, be good, be good. Because we're going to do this. It's nearly time, guys, for so much revelations to come in. I've never felt stronger about this. I've never felt stronger. I'll see you all in a bit. Bye now. Where am I? I think I'm stuck on end screen. Guys, I need to stop doing this asshole traveling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck in my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. Those fairies, you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.